welcome to another edition of In the Divide, where we're bringing all things crypto and Algorand together. I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for being here. In this edition, we're going to be telling you about algo adoption. So if you could go ahead and like, hit the subscribe button. We are uh, trying to get uh, to 2000 subscribers. Um, I know it can happen. Um, hopefully by the end of this year, we can get to 2000 subscribers. So please, I want you to hit the bell notification. Go ahead and leave a comment after the uh, after you see the video uh, if you have anything you know to add anything else you uh, want me to you know specify or answer uh, leave in the comments I want you to also know this is not financial advice so without any further ado let me go ahead and share my screen so today a full picture of algo so i like to do this because this is one of the metrics that i use to try to look at some of the underlying um, indicators um, i like adoption i like use cases in in the last 30 days of course everybody knows the market has been really bad it's been of course the fed the uh, inflation inflation just a whole lot of factors that's pushing down on the market as a whole uh, I'm just want you to understand I know there's a lot of um, panic a, a lot of negativity in the market um, crypto crypto to zero Bitcoin to zero all that stuff uh, I don't pay attention to that uh, because it's you know the news is it's not made up most of the time, but I don't want to say most of the time, but it's not something that you primarily should look at as far as your investing. The reason why uh, I say that is a lot of, it's just a lot of fluff in there, but I want to point you to something in this article. According to the data from uh, develop in, in, according to data from its developer porter, portal total addresses on Algorand stood about 27 million in the last 30 days. The addresses on the network went up 5%. Look at this here in the span of about uh, what is that? The 29th of all the 20 look like the 27th 25th of August there was a spike in addresses created. These are things that are good to see for an ecosystem is because once you creating creating these wallets, that means there's new users jumping on. And um, this is what we need as far as adoption is these new use cases coming on because the more people you're using, using your transaction or using your network, the more viable, the more real world use case it actually have because it's linking people to a service in DeFi that what Algorand is going to do is connected to tr a traditional finance. So even though there was an a, a up in addresses, the uh, transaction in during the last 30 days was down 3%, which uh, the market could take the blame for that because what happens in the market where things are volatile things are going down in the bear market usually there's less activity because holding is probably the best strategy in not trying to over leverage yourself into a, a worse situation in the down market also you know i have to give a shout out to miss stacy warden uh, she's been doing um a pretty good job um, since she's come on. Um, she has some very good ideas and I, I really hope that she continues to, to move in that direction to um, get us off uh, one of our, our, our sideways momentum. 
um, to where we can get a foothold. And based on some of the things I've been seeing, I think it's been good. So here, you know, it says, what are some of the latest things Algorand is used for? And I've said this a couple of times in some of my videos that the Algorand ecosystem is in pretty good hands when it comes to its use cases, because right now they're working with the United States government in disaster relief, uh, delivering mobile payments in Africa is starting to move. There's co Koi banks in there. And actually there's going to be another thing I'm going to be saying on, on, on here, uh, about, um, the Africa and Algorand partnering with, um, the Africa uh, initiative. And of course, measuring climate change impact. These are all things that bring real world use case to Algorand to where either you're dealing with governments, you, you're dealing with um, things that people need as far as the information, and you can do it through the blockchain. So with, with that, uh, I want to introduce you to what this is. It's called Alki Wallet. And this is a wallet that's going to be uh, based in Nigeria, that they're going to be onboarding this wallet for Africa. Uh, I think they're going to be doing it for Nigeria. Uh, and that's going to be the initial, maybe some in Lagos. But this is where they're going to start onboarding the people. Uh, that uh, are in position to use and need a, a, a financial system that has a little bit more stability in their region than their current banks and gives them the ability to um, uh, tap into uh, 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 more of the um, world and global uh, economy. Uh, so this is where the IP and this is where the international intellectual property comes in, where people who are creators, artists who are doing things in Nigeria and Africa now can put themselves in a position where they can actually have access to a bigger market. And thus Algorand makes it essential that you need to understand these people are going to be part of the Algorand ecosystem as they continue to grow and actually have that uh, part of the world, which is under bank, have a more ability to actually tap in uh, to these resources that makes more op makes available more opportunities. We in uh, America don't understand how vital these things are to freedom and to upward mobility with having your own bank account. So I'm trying to make these videos a little bit more concise try not to um you know run on my like I, I i can do but leave a comment i want you to understand none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor but i'm trying to give you some information that's going to be able to help you hold your bags this is sam houston hoping that your tomorrows are better than your today and we're out